US more advantage to the UK or UK more advantage to the US. Hi beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ayala. If you're seeing my video for the very first time, welcome. Thank you for dropping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know you're an answer to prayers. Thank you for always coming back. So today we are going to be doing something a little bit different, although it's still the same. I'm an international student based in Dallas and I am here to share with you difference between schooling in the UK and schooling in the US. So I'm currently in the US. So, and I've had questions like, do you think I should um, find like my postgraduate or whatever, my undergrad, do you think the UK is better or do you think um, the US is better? And because I'm in the US, people think I would, I would honestly favor the US more, but Honestly, I'm not going to make the decision for you. It's your decision. I'm just going to be telling you basic difference that I think exists between the two countries and you could just make your decision off my points. Okay? Okay, so let's go. First things first, it is scholarship. So the US happen to have like more scholarship opportunities, which means there is more opportunity for you to get a fully funded postgraduate or even undergraduate degree here in the u.s the funding is very straightforward it is um your school would, either your school gives you organization gives you like there is a big like percentage of people getting funded here in the u.s as compared to the uk uk on the other hand it is more like a money very money conscious economy the u.s is very money conscious but in terms of education the uk would rather you pay your fees because i think that the fees actually helps their economy a lot so of course yeah students pay their money you have to pay your money even you have to pay half of your money before you even come into the country like a good number of your school fees has to be covered already you have, whereas in the us you can come without even paying anything when you get here then you start sorting it out and i've had a lot of people on twitter on TikTok begging for to fund their school fees in the UK. It's very rare in the US because this I think it's just easier to make payments here if you are not getting like if you are not fully funded already. Second thing has to be the educational system. They both have like wonderful educational system, a lot of courses for you to study, but in this aspect i think the uk is better because people tend to study what they want to study as against what is available to be studied so when you are getting funded by the school most people will have to go for like they, they go for any course here in the us mm, maybe not the way i put it but like people there is a liberty of choice in the uk because you are paying your fees so if you eventually enroll for a program and maybe you did not like it or whatever it is that may be the case but if you have like a good explanation to why you want to move to this other course they are more open to letting that move happen but in the case of the us they would let the move happen but you might lose your funding which is very it's very difficult when you lose your funding so of course in terms of educational like choice of courses the uk has it going great for them I would like to consider his health ah, the uk also has it going for them in this aspect and the, when i say that i have a sister that stays like um currently schooling in the uk and i know that she has like she has done a lot of medical related things there and she has not actually paid like because before you leave nigeria in the uk they are they ask you to make like a insurance um deposit for nhs i don't know if that's the right thing but you pay like you cover your medical bills so when you get there you are able to access although the time frame for medical emergencies might be different i think the uk is like a destical like they don't answer people on time but here next thing you see like ambulance will come and carry you and <laughs> all that but in terms of fees the uk has it going for them because once you pay that money when you get here when you get to the uk you can really access medical care without too much like hassle whereas in the us even though there is student insurance, your student insurance covers very little of your health care management, whatever the case may be, it covers too small. 
that means you have like a bulk of money if you ever have to go to the hospital it is too too much it's expensive too expense too expensive guys i removed my teeth earlier this year and i can tell you for a fact that it's expensive mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's just leave that so i don't know if that is something you would want to consider that's that's like a very important thing to consider another thing is that the uk is relatively very conservative as compared to the us i know us is libra every man is like no man's land but however i know the uk can also be wild but i feel like because of the kind of people that are there because of the like the nature like the the kind of people that are there it's relatively more conservative honestly i think so i think it's more conservative but this is my opinion so might not be yours than the u.s next thing is if you want a community so if you are somebody that really wants to be be home away from home the uk might be your option because the uk is i think because of the influx of nigerians there depending on the area you are but i don't think there's any area in the uk right now that like they don't have like a good nigerian system in a good nigerian community system depending too on the area you are in the u.s for me i'm in texas and i think i still have like a good nigerian um community here however the uk generally speaking has like a larger community both nigerians indians like whatever you want to think about i think the uk has like a better nigerian community then let's talk distance Distance is a very important factor. The UK to Nigeria is relatively six hours, at most eight hours. America to Nigeria, we are talking 14, 15, 16, 20 hours journey. So depending on the state you are going to also. So it is definitely, so if you are thinking about that, what's the proximity if I have to go home right now? And that means flight tickets might be relatively more expensive to come from the US than to come from the UK. So if proximity is something that concerns you well there you have it uk might be something or somewhere you'll be tilting towards last but not the least or maybe not the last but not the least but <laughs> also another thing that i believe is security we've had a lot of we have in the statistics of things the u.s have more gun violence like um shootings and all that in comparison to the uk the uk has like less like less gun issues like in terms of security i would say that that they they have their own problems though and this is not even me hailing the uk or anything like that i'm just stating the obvious so that you'll be able to make your decisions like you'll be able to make a well-informed decisions about your journey another the last i think this is the last thing and even if not the most important thing it is the route to migration so as a student in the uk you have the opportunity of having a two years post study visa and this post study visa allows you to work and all that then after this two years post study visa you are also allowed to like maybe get sponsorship or whatever to be able to remain in country like it has a clear path then maybe get your permanent residency then maybe become a citizen there is a clear path towards naturalization in the uk however the us does not have a clear path to naturalization the worry of every international student in the us is what next uk the student already knows i have a two years blah 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 although if you're doing a stem course in the united states which is like a science um course in the you in the us here yeah, you have two years for study visa and if you are doing a course that is not um a stem course you only have one year and after that one year well you also look for sponsorship but it's it's really just not a clear path the uk it is a clear straightforward path if you are also going to be considering your family moving with you the uk might most likely be like your option because in the uk their dependents are allowed to work as compared to the us the us your dependent is not supposed to work if you eventually are able to bring them in and another reason why somebody might want to consider the uk or the us is the uk does not really have a visa interview process so there is no f1 f2 see that entire so if you are ever if you are someone that is scared of doing interviews or whatever it might be 
then the US might not just be an option for you. Maybe try Canada or try UK because UK doesn't have that. And that means once your document is complete, you get your admission, you pay your fees, just do all the other processing, pay your money, pay your money, pay your money. That's what UK is about. And once you're able to pay your money, pay your money, pay your money, you're able to go into the country. Unlike US, they still want to determine if you are fit enough for them whatever that may be anyways this is not me supporting any of these two countries these are just things that i think i have noticed over the course of this international student journey and i believe if you look at these things i just mentioned you'll be able to make a well-informed decision if you want to be on this side or on this side of life but whatever it may be i wish you all the best in your journey don't forget to like share and subscribe let me know if there's anything i forgot to add that gives us more advantage to the uk or uk more advantage to the US. Let me know so that other people can also learn from you in the comment section. Thank you so much and I'll see you all in my next video.